Hey everyone, it's the West Virginian Gamecock coming with my latest review. Uh, today, I had the opportunity to take my wife and my daughter out shopping. Uh, they had to go exchange some items. And while we were in town in Augusta, Georgia, we went to a place called Baldino's. Uh, it's a sub place. Uh, they proclaim to have the giant Jersey subs. They are a chain restaurant. I say a chain. They, I think they got like eight, uh, eight restaurants throughout Georgia. Uh, so it's a Georgia thing, but they, um, they boast about being, uh, Jersey subs. So, uh, just real quick to review. Uh, we've been there. We've been here numerous times. Uh, really, really enjoy. It's, it's probably one of Lori's favorite, uh, places to eat, uh, in Augusta. I really like it as well. Uh, good subs. Um, uh, they, they give you plenty of meat on the sub. Um, and then they have them fixed it the Baldino's way, which you'll see in the pictures, what that is all about. Um, and, uh, one of the cool things about this for all my West Virginia fr friends is that they serve something here that you will not find in Georgia or South Carolina, and that is a pepperoni roll. And up until when we moved to West Virginia, I had no clue what a pepperoni roll was. Uh, and so I, I'm not a connoisseur of pepperoni rolls, so I didn't order one to kind of compare it with others. But, uh, but I will say this, uh, when you look at the menu, items you can get a small sub which is uh, a six and a half foot sub uh, a, a large sub which is a 13 inch sub and then you can get a sub that feeds the family it's called a family sub on some of them and the family sub is uh three of the six and a half inch uh subs um uh, so you can go that route they have your, you know, standard chips, drink. Uh, they do have salads. They have soups. Um, they serve spaghetti as well. Um, so I've never had the spaghetti, so I don't know what to tell you there. Um, I've had the steak stuff from there before, uh, and it was real good. Uh, again, my only, and you'll see this uh, throughout my the review, the only real negative thing I have to say about the restaurant itself uh, is, is the service. Um, uh, it just, man... We were in there, uh, and it took us about 25 minutes uh, to get our food. Uh, and it wasn't like they had a mad rush of people during the time or, or anything like that. And they had, uh, they had five people working back there, um, but it, it would just turn out the food slow. It was, uh, it was bad. It's a good thing the food's good. Uh, and it, the food was definitely worth the wait, uh, but, and we didn't really have anywhere else to go. We weren't in a rush. Uh, I can see though, if you were coming there for a lunch hour, uh, and, and you were kind of in a rush and we were, there were some people around that, that, that you can tell were there for their lunch break and, uh, it, it, it'd be kind of difficult then. But, um, uh, with that being said, if you're ever in the Augusta area and you want to try a sub shop that, uh, is different than the other sub places. I guess if I have to compare it to anything, uh, it's a, it's a better version of like a Jimmy John's. Um, the bread you'll see in the pictures, the bread's bigger. Uh, they cook their own bread. The bread's bigger. Uh, so it holds more, uh, of, you know, meat, uh, cheese, whatever, you know, all your fillings and everything like that. Uh, but, but it's a really good place. Uh, highly recommend if you're in the Augusta area, uh, to find it, uh, uh, and, and, and go there. If I'm not mistaken, it's on Wrightsboro road, um, so, uh, right down from the Augusta mall. Uh, so if you ever get the chance to go there, highly recommend it for my West Virginia friends. If you're ever down, yeah, wonderful place to eat again, just don't be in a hurry. All right. Uh, so I'm going to ship you off to see the review of, uh, Baldino's Jersey giant subs or giant Jersey subs, uh, and hope you enjoy again. I highly recommend good stuff. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo.
Jersey right. Soaps. All right. This is another local Augusta, Georgia place. Here with Lori and Riley, and she's excited. She loves to be on camera. See? So we have ordered, and we ordered two big subs, foot long subs, I guess a 13 inch. The American Army, which is ham, turkey, and roast beef. Riley got the ham. I got a pickle too. Um, but here you see the price. So we finally got our food. I got a big pickle with my meal. I already ate my chips because my chips were. Let's just say it took a while to get our food. <laughs> if you're coming here in a hurry, don't. Uh, best order ahead like an hour beforehand, and then you might be might be ready when you get here. Riley's eating her. She just refuses to be on camera, but she is now anyway. So, how's your food? How's your food? You got a little turkey on the side of your head, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> How is your food? How's your food? It's good. Okay. Was it worth the wait? It's good. It's stinky. Yeah, it was worth the wait. So I'm going to eat now. So <clears throat> we just got finished eating at Baldino's. And I wanted to share this before, there's Riley, oh, before I forgot, um, listen, Baldino's is, they're good. Subs are awesome. Probably uh, <clears throat> best subs I've had. Like, I really, really love their subs. With that said, do not go in there in a hurry because they are not in a hurry. It was unbelievable to me how they felt, it just, it's almost like they just kind of <clears throat> were offended that you were coming in to order food and eat there. And so they were gonna take their time and do whatever they wanted. Can you see I'm making a video? Can you please cut that down while I'm making a video? See, this is what I have to work with. This is what, this is what this, I mean, you're getting the raw here. Like, anyway. So anyway, say all that, the food's good. Um, really good subs, they bake their own bread. I mean, it's really, really good. I mean, it really is. Every bite is great. They're big subs. Uh, <clears throat> I know he saw the price on the on the check uh, that I showed on the pictures there, uh, but but it's worth it. It really is. Except for, and this is my one complaint. Their service was terrible. To have that many people working back there and to take as long as it did for us to get our food is ridiculous. Ugh. Great goodness. But anyway, all right. This is the West Virginian Gamecock signing out with my lovely daughter in the back, my lovely wife on the side, what? whom both are on their phones doing something. My hairs were out of place because of the mask. Anyway, later. <laughs>